yes, this video is going to be horrible quality. Um, I've been crying all day. Um, I'll explain that in another video. But I wanted to get this video out because there's like a section on YouTube that literally focuses on this. So, um, as you can see by the title, it literally says why I worked at Hollister Co. for one day. And I'm going to get into it. I'm not going to like drag on the video or anything. And it's not really anything against the company. I love Hollister even though I'm not wearing Hollister. Literally all of my clothes are for Hollister. I literally bought a whole wardrobe just for the job. Which I mean I already had a lot of Hollister clothes. But I love them. You know I got their shorts, their bikinis, their jeans, their shirts. I'm, I love the company. It's not that. It's just the store that I worked at. So if you search up like... Hollister Co. interview process or how to get the job or blah blah blah. I'll talk about that a little bit. It's kind of under that category. Um, yeah, so this is going to be very helpful. And once again, like I said, this is just the specific store I worked at. Nothing against Hollister. But a lot of the things I read online like make sense now that this happened to me and I'll explain. So let me start with the application process. Um, the application process was super easy. Most companies, you know, you just search up the company, go to the career section and apply. I applied like any other application, probably took me 10 minutes, super, super easy. And after that, you know, it's like, oh, thank you for your application. We'll give you a call, blah, blah, blah. Not even three days after I filled out the application, I got a call saying like, hi, this is Kylie. When would you be able to come in for an interview? Blah, blah, blah. Um, I came in for an interview probably about three days. Sorry, probably about three days after I got the accepted interview call. Um, and for the interview, I, you know, I watched a lot of YouTube videos and stuff like regarding the Hollister Co. interview before I went to the interview. Like, what you should wear and what kind of questions and blah, blah, blah. Um, Janice, stop. Sorry, my dog's trying to play with toys. And we have hardwood. And it's going to be very loud. Sorry. Um, so, I wore a Hollister outfit. Now, if you don't have a lot of money, I'm not saying you have to be rich or poor to shop at Hollister. But sometimes Hollister products can be a little bit higher than, like, Cotton On or Ross or places like that. But as long as you look the Hollister brand, you are good to go. So if you wear like a high-waisted pair of jeans and maybe some sandals and tennis shoes and maybe like a cute flowy shirt that doesn't show off too much skin, you're good to go. They have no idea that it, the tag actually says Hollister. But I already had um, tons of Hollister clothes. So I wore like a black, I will try to include a picture if I edit the video, but if not, then there won't be a picture. I wore a black like flowy long sleeve and it had like shoulder cutouts and it had this white embroidery and then I wore high waisted light wash jeans with no rips and then I wore some black sandals and I had a cute black belt. I did do a full face, but I didn't do eyeshadow. I just did like a neutral um, put little studs in, did some waves in my hair, and had it like half up, half down. So the interview, um, I got there, and it was actually a group interview. Now, some of the stuff I read online said they'll have like individual interviews, and then a group interview, and then some stuff I read online was it's just a group interview. Um, the Hollister I was applying at was in like a, it wasn't a huge mall, but it was a mall. And I had an interview at the same time as two other girls. So we, we walked in and they're like, oh, we'll start your interview in like 10 minutes. You know, you can just look around, yada, yada. So we were looking around. I didn't really know who else was in the interview process. There was one girl that like kind of kept staring at me. And I was, I didn't know it was a group interview. So I was like, you know, like, girl, why are you staring at me? But I guess she knew it was like a group interview. I don't really know how, but she got some vibes. <laughs> I'm not real sure, but, um, so the interviewer, her name was, we're not going to say her name. We're just going to say, um, Regina. That's not her actual name, but we're just going to call her Regina because I don't want to expose anybody. So Regina was like, all right, girls, let's go ahead and go out to the little, like, 
not food court, but there were some tables near the house. You're like, oh, let's go out here and do the interview. And we all walked, you know, we sat at a table all right next to each other. And before I get into the interview, I personally do not like group interviews. I think they are very dumb and here is why. What she did is there was a big list of questions and she would start in different orders, but let's say girl one and girl two. She would, st let's say she started with me. So Kylie, blah, 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 blah. And then girl two asked the same question, blah, 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 blah. And the reason why I think this is dumb is because if you go after another girl, you can kind of use their answer to answer your question. So it's not really cheating, but like it kind of is. So I, uh, I didn't really like that process because it's like, well, couldn't they just kind of use what I said for their answer? You know what I mean? It's not really a unique process because no matter what, your brain is going to try to like use what they said and incorporate it into your answer. It's just how our brains work. Um... Questions. So I don't exactly remember all the questions because it was like a month ago, but one of the questions was, if I were a customer, how would you sell me your outfit? Now, if you wear clothes that are Hollister or look like Hollister, this question is so easy, so easy. But if you are not wearing clothes that are in that vibe and you're trying to sell Hollister clothes, you are going to have the most difficult time answering this question. So I basically said, I would start with the bottoms. High-waisted jeans are very in right now. They're on trend. They go with multiple different types of shirts, crop tops, long sleeves, sweaters, jackets. You can dress them up, dress them down, blah, blah, blah. You get the gist of how I answered. But one of the girls was like not wearing Hollister at all. She kind of dressed like way too interviewee, which you would expect for an interview. So I can't blame her. But when she was like told to sell her outfit, she kind of stuttered and she was like, you know what I mean? Um, another question is, how would you help someone that comes in trying to buy jeans? I stated, you know, see what style they like, figure out what their standard size is, get one size up, get one size down because every brand sizing is different. You know, pretty simple questions. The interview lasted maybe 10 minutes. It went super quick, even though there was three of us. Super, super, super quick. Um... Sorry, I'm like out of breath. <laughs> um, after that, she was like, okay, we'll give you a, a call in like the next week if, you know, we like you and you get the job. And we're all like, okay, have a nice day, blah, blah, blah. Not even a day after the interview, I got a call and they were like, oh, would you like to accept the job? Blah, blah, blah. After you get accepted to the job, there's like a email they have to send you where like you officially accept the job. And then after that, they do like a background check. Even if you're like 16 and you have no history, they still have to do a background check. But that takes about two days. And then they call and they ask you when you want to start. Um, well, not when you want to start. When you can come in and fill out paperwork. When you Usually when you come in and fill out paperwork, it's not your first shift. It's just to do paperwork. So about a week later, they finally had a day where like I could come in and do paperwork. Came in and did paperwork. That took about an hour. And then they're like, okay, in a couple days, we'll call you and let you know when you can come in and start. Then another week later, they were like, oh, can you come in this Friday for like a five-hour shift? And I'm like, okay, great. So I'm not going to talk about the shift that much. It was pretty easy. I mean, like your basic first shift stuff. The shift was only five hours. But here's the part where it gets bad. So... This is why I only worked that one shift, is this reason right here. So in the interview process, the interviewer had a packet. Regina, Rebecca, whatever I said her name was. She had a packet. And in the packet, it specifically said the minimum, the minimum hours you are to work per week is 20. You can only work 20 or more. You can't work less than 20. So... That is in their rules, right? Okay, so that first shift, you know, I was just minding my own business, blah, blah, blah. And somebody calls the Hollister store and obviously was asking if they were hiring. And she said, yeah. And I was like, well, I just got hired and there's like a lot of people working today. Like, do you guys really need more people? I didn't say anything, but that's what I was thinking. And then when you clock out, you can look up your schedule on like the little Hollister like computers that they have. And I pulled up my schedule 
and I wasn't on the schedule for literally another 11 days. So they wanted me to come in for my first shift, not go for 11 days, and then come in for my second shift. And the first shift, you didn't get to learn everything. You didn't get to use the cash register yet. It was kind of just a general thing. So I don't really understand how that's efficient, coming in and then going 11 days and then coming in again and like kind of forgetting what you learned. I mean, because 11 days is 11 days, you know? So um, when I left and I printed out my schedule, she's like, oh yeah, um, it'll start to become regular. We just have to get you on the schedule. But, you know, we resolved it. And by the time those 11 days were done, the schedule was going to be up on, like, the Hollister website where you could check your scheduling. And by then, I should have been on the schedule. So, like, the day before I was supposed to work, after that 11 days or whatever, I looked at the Hollister, like, working website or whatever it was called, and I was not on the schedule. The only shifts I had were occasional Wednesdays for four hours. And we have to add the fact that this Hollister was 30 minutes away from me and I'm a college student. So the only hours I was getting per week was maybe four hours. Four. Four. And they were supposed to give me 20 or more. And they were hiring somebody else. So obviously they did not have enough shifts like to put me in. Um, and I got pissed. And I was like, you know what? I'm not coming back because this is like not going to work. And... Here in Minnesota, the minimum wage at some places is like nine eighty seven, and then with taxes and everything, like you're barely, barely making forty a week, and that can that would literally pay for the gas for you to get up there and back. So that is why I only worked at Hollister one day. They literally were required to give me twenty hours, and I literally had no hours, so I didn't even stay. I didn't even go to my second shift because I'm like I looked at the whole calendar, and I'm like they don't have me for any hours. And that's the, I already asked her, and that's the only hours they could give me. I'm like, you know what, what's the point in working at a place like that? And I heard, not heard, but some of the videos I watched and some of the articles I watched, people said that, yeah, they don't give you any hours, blah, blah, blah. And like I said, I'm not like anything against Hollister as a whole, but if you are applying at Hollister, a lot of the stuff I read, I would plan on having a second job or not being reliant on that one job because they literally do not give you hours. So yeah, that is why I only worked at Hollister one day. I basically this, did this as like a factual video. I'm sorry that it's almost like 15 minutes long. I just didn't want to have to edit it. I just kind of wanted to talk to whoever's curious because I was super curious when I got accepted for an interview. Um, like I said, Nothing against the company. I still love their clothes, but I am never ever going to go through an interview process and work with them ever again because of this experience. It just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And there was already drama with some of the employees on that first day when I hadn't even been there three hours. It just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I'm like, this just is not worth it. So if you do apply at Hollister and you do want to work there like I did, I hope that it works out for you. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm not a YouTuber. I did it in the past when I was younger, but this was just kind of a free-for-all video, me just sitting down and talking. I love to do this and help people. So if you got any questions or anything regarding any of that, just um, comment down below and I will try to answer them the best I can. If you do get the job and you do get great hours, I am so happy for you and I really hope it goes well. But other than that, I'm going to end this here and thanks for watching.